Tucson Police Officers Association says that is what it's waiting for. After a story we brought you in August, the association is asking city leaders to censure City Councilwoman Lane Santa Cruz after a local pro protest where that councilwoman is seen on police body cam video with her hand on an officer's baton. The union's request has gone unanswered. Alexis Burdine asked city leaders why in this live News 4 Tucson investigation. Alexis. acknowledgement that it's unacceptable to put your hand on an officer's weapon. That's what TPOA says officers want. Arizona law says it's illegal. So why haven't city leaders issued a sanction? The men and women of the Tucson uh, Police Officers Association are a little disappointed in our city leaders uh, for not even having the time to, to reach out and tell us why they wouldn't look into the conduct uh, of one of their own. The union sent this letter, <laughs> referencing our News 4 Tucson investigators report, saying in part, the video clearly shows Santa Cruz placing her hands on an officer's baton and forcibly moving it. This action alone meets the standard of aggravated assault and is classified as a class five felony. TPOA asked city leaders to censure city councilwoman Lane Santa Cruz, saying her action clearly violates the council's established code of ethics. The union sent the letter 59 days ago. As of yet, the Tucson Police Officers Association has not received uh, any uh, correspondence from any of the city council members uh, or the mayor reference our uh, request. What kind of message does this send from the council and the mayor to officers and your constituents who support police? There's no question uh, that uh, I've got TPOAs back generally. Let's let it go. Let's move on. Uh, we don't need to keep escalating things. This happened, what, a month and a half ago? TPOA wants city leaders to acknowledge this is wrong. Why won't they do that? I don't think Lane was right in being down and being in the middle of that uh, protest. She was equally not right in escalating the, the, um, the tension between the police and her that evening. But my sense is that we don't gain anything as a community and we don't gain anything in our relationship with the police department and this mayor and council if we start sanctioning people. Councilman Paul Cunningham says he stands by his statement in our original report, saying, I am not supportive of any type of censure for Council Member Santa Cruz at this time. Over a month ago, Councilwoman Nikki Lee originally told us in part, I have a lot of questions that I need to have answered before I can make an informed statement. Weeks passed, we called and emailed, asking if she's ready to make that informed statement. We never heard back. Councilman Paul Durham and Richard Fimbres never commented on the issue to begin with. They didn't respond this time either. Mayor Romero's office declined our interview request, but they did give us this statement. Council member Santa Cruz was elected by Tucson voters to represent and serve the constituents of Ward 1. And as their representative, she is accountable to them. Rather than allowing these important issues to divide our community, we must come together and find solutions to these deep systemic issues in order to move forward and begin the healing process. They're city leaders. They should be held to a higher conduct. Um, just like police officers are. As for City Councilwoman Santa Cruz, we reached out to her office. We never heard back. Now, several City Council members did point out that TPOA never called them personally. They say if they did, they would have picked up the phone. Investigating for you, Alexis Spurdine, News for Tucson.